Hey everybody, Justin Senior here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can become a master at product research with AI-powered Amazon review analytics. This is really cool, I definitely wanna pay attention. Everyone needs to be good at product research. And this is how you're gonna do product research like a pro. This is how you're gonna do it the right way. And uh, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that AI is really taking over all facets of digital marketing and e-commerce. And uh, the same can be said for product research. We're gonna be able to get tons and tons of insights about products and about hot niches by allowing an, a really cool AI tool that I'm gonna show you to analyze Amazon. And by leveraging AI, you know, it's gonna go through and read reviews and feedback. You're gonna understand not only what products sell, but what specifically about them uh, do people like? What do they dislike? Why are they selling, right? So you could really truly understand not only the products, but the concepts behind the products, the reasons why people buy, the reasons why they don't, the reasons why they leave positive reviews and the features that they want, all of these important things that are gonna help you not only research the best product, but offer the absolute best product to your customers. And there are some pain points uh, to do this. Obviously, there's no way to do this without AI. You'd have to basically spend an infinite amount of time reading every single product page out there and finding all the products, reading the reviews, analyzing the, re the reviews. So I'm gonna show you the app or the AI that's gonna do this. But more importantly, it needs to be easy to use and require no prior technical skills, right? You don't need to be a, a programmer or coder to implement the AI here. And the app must analyze the actual product reviews. This is the really cool part, right? You could go and generate lists of products and things like that. We want to be able to analyze what customers specifically like and dislike about the products. This is how you become a pro at product research. And this is really what sets this tool apart. And that's why I want to show you Shulex VOC. And this is what I use. This is what I highly recommend. You're going to see this AI tool in action. It's incredibly powerful because it literally leverages everything I've been talking about in terms of the product reviews, the feedback, all the different kind of elements that make up a winning product. You're going to now uncover that. It's not just about saying, okay, this product is ranked number one on Amazon. We're going to figure out why it is, why it's ranked that way, what the products are going to look like, what the reviews are dictating about why the product is successful or on the flip side, unsuccessful. It's a really, really cool, powerful tool. And you see the link directly below it or below this video to check it out. I'm going to show you it right now. And you see the site now, voc.ai. And this is the number one AI tool to do product research and to literally hear the voice of the customer. We're gonna be able to see reviews. You can export all these reviews, do competitor analysis, audience research. You'll truly understand customers' needs while you're doing product research here. It's really about that sentiment and analysis to say, okay, people are very positive about this product or this product is negative because of these reasons, right? And you can see kind of all the different little visuals that you get inside of this app. And we're gonna go over the shoulder in terms of just kind of showing you exactly how this works and how this is gonna help you really understand products. And this is great for Amazon, but this is also great for really any platform where you need to be selling products because you're gonna be able to analyze the biggest products from Amazon right inside of this tool. And it's the smartest, fastest AI tool out here. Omnichannel integration for way more than just Amazon. You're gonna be able to see really everything out here. And again, even if you're not selling on one of these platforms, it's still gonna give you the insight in terms of what is selling in your niche and combining algorithms that are basically at the cutting edge of AI. So you're gonna really see see all these big companies trust and work with Shulex because basically they are the number one AI product research tool out there. And again, more than just a list of products, understanding the sentiment, right? Why, what is the voice of the customer about these products? That's why it's so powerful. And you can sign up over here for free for your free account. And it's literally easy to do it. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually walk you through and we'll go over the shoulder right now. So we are inside of Shulex VOC. And again, you see the link directly below this video. I just created a free account to show you exactly what you can do inside here. Here's how it's gonna work. You're going to be able to analyze all of these different products using the power of Shulex VOC and ChatGPT. And we're gonna be able to embrace the power of optimization with ChatGPT's suggested listing descriptions to make sure that your products stand out and make sure that you're always gonna be able to sell to the best customers. You could use this tool to analyze customer feedback. ChatGPT will literally transform all of the data into powerful reports with actionable insights. So you could actually see the top products in your niche, what's making the most revenue, trends by month. You can even see things like the customer profile and understand why the customer has purchased the product, 
where does the product get used, when do the customers use the product, the pros and cons of the product, what features the customers care about. You're even going to know what motivates customers to make the purchase. You're going to see all of that right inside of this tool and it's super easy to use. And you'll be able to upgrade at any time to get all of the full features of that kind of uh, premium mode that Shulex has. Again, I'm gonna walk you through here though, show you the kind of cool things. We're gonna do these two searches in a second, but they have some demo reports. And I'm gonna open this up first, just so you can kind of get an understanding of the type of data that we can see and the visuals that you could expect when you're using this tool. And it's incredibly powerful. There is pretty much every single piece of information that you could want about a specific product over here. This is an Amazon product. And of course, it's going to show you the uh, total ASIN number over here. But really, when we get down into it, there's some kind of general information on top. And here's our little time range that we can do all time, yearly or monthly. But when we see over here, these are our quick metrics. And we see the top four products over here for laptop backpack in terms of a search term. And these are the ones that are doing the best. We'll be able to actually investigate them individually. But we see $408,000 in revenue over the past month. So kind of showing the total opportunity here and you see the revenue trend as we go month to month over here all the way back into 2020. We're seeing the trend go up pretty significantly over here. Some nice jumps into that close to $600,000 a month range. Seeing the ratings over here in terms of obviously very popular products. We're getting a lot of sales, a lot of ratings, four and a half star review, pretty good in terms of these top four. You'll see exactly how we're going to be able to call out some things inside of the review section. But first, let me show you customer insights. And you know, this is about who is buying it. So you want to start to figure out who you can reach or let's say you have an existing customer base or a brand and you sell to a lot of husbands or sell to a lot of sons, right? You see over here that they're highly represented in terms of the who. And we have this kind of breaking down for everything. Who, where, uh, I'll say who, when, where, and what. Like travel over here is a main use. School is a main use. Airport, of course college, right? Things that are all relevant to each other, still giving you that total understanding about not only who's going to buy it, where they're going to use it, when they might use it, right? Here's an everyday type thing here. So really cool. It gives you the whole idea. This is not just about identifying that, you know, this is a selling, uh, top selling product. Sure, we can figure that out. And that's one big important thing, right? Understanding that, but this is the real kind of meat of this tool. This is what sets it apart and really gives us so much information, way more than just about the product. And we're just getting started. You'll see some of the most common reviews about son, or if we click over here about daughter, you could look at it and reading reviews incredibly important because not only do we want to know, you know, who's using it in this case, but in what context are they liking it? And we can literally click view all to look at all of the different comments over here that match this. We could filter these out by different stars. You want to just see the one star reviews, for example, right? We could read again, this one containing the word daughter. And that's just one small example, right? We'd be able to get the same thing for school, right? We come over here, look at reviews that mention school. So really cool. And again, kind of just the basic beginner info here at the top of the page. As we come down here, this is really cool customer sentiment. So basically this is meaning, you know, are they positive or negative about it? Do they like it or dislike it generally based on the terms that are inside of reviews? And we could take a look over here that, you know, there's a bunch of uh, cons in terms of talking about the handle, right? There's a bunch of pros talking about the wheels. So think about that. If you are sourcing a product, you want to make sure that you're going to find, let's say you want to start selling laptop backpacks, pretty obvious what you want to find. Ones that have really good handles and really good wheels. It's very important to people. They're talking about it a lot, whether they fall off or they break or if they're sturdy or if they're amazing, right? We want to obviously be more in the positive side, but sentiment is not just about understanding if they like it. It's about understanding what you need to fix and what you need to focus on. If people care a lot about the handle and the wheel, then of course you focus on that when you're sourcing a product or designing a product, but also when you're marketing the product, when you put in the text, when you make ads for it, when you do cross-platform marketing elsewhere, whether you do social media or Google, it doesn't matter. You get to understand not only what products sell well, who's using it, but the most important things or the most, most important reasons why they buy the product or what they're looking for most. So you have all this information, you'll be able to tell them exactly what they want to hear in your marketing and you kind of see it broken down over here in terms of what motivates buyers to buy this and we have the kind of top level view here where we're looking at basically where they're paying attention to is it recommendations from friends or brand reputation you see that predominantly 87 percent they're caring about the product description and we can click inside here see a little bit more again kind of corresponding to the reviews right 
They care about the wheels. They care about the handles. We see this being mentioned over and over and over again in the reviews, not just for one product, but for the aggregate of all these products in here under the laptop backpack, um, you know, search term. So a lot of different things here, but really a big takeaway, you know, price is not the biggest thing here. It's product description in terms of matching, giving them the, um, you know, expectation that they're going to get what they are looking for. And talking about expectation again, really, you know, this is really about if you were to design a product from scratch and you could have feedback from real buyers, this is exactly it right here. You could see exactly what they want to find in the product, what they love about it, what they don't like, you know, um, <clears throat> interior pockets could be designed better. Okay, great. You know, we look for a supplier that uh, focuses on having bigger interior pockets compared to some of the others or hoping it lasts long. Right. Again, a, a couple mentions about pockets. But definitely a lot of mentions about wheels, right? So that definitely being a big thing here. And, uh, you know, this is, again, just under the uh, insights section. We'll go to the reviews section over here where we can just go and look at all the reviews and filter out by star, by image and video, by keyword. Come over here and look at most recent reviews as well. You can really see kind of what's changed and what hasn't. Taking a look and get some real good product detail in terms of what people are showing in terms of these product imagery get you a good idea of what kind of user generated content you could ask for. Obviously, we don't want to see that, right? Another mention about the wheels here. And, you know, as you're researching product, as you're understanding product, and if you're going to be selling laptop backpacks, you're going to definitely want to be reading all these reviews to understand exactly what's going on. And uh, more than that, what's working and what's not. So that's just one of the examples over here. I'm going to give you a little bit more of a, a real example. And uh, you could search either by product or by Amazon bestseller rank keywords, right? So power toothbrush is an example, laptop backpack, wireless charger. I'm gonna do ring light. And I brought up some products over here, but we'll see if we can come over here and do uh, ring light. I'm not sure if it's in here or not. So I don't think it's exactly in here. So I'm gonna go and uh, use this product. Just copy this product link and we'll come right back into Shulix over here on the dashboard. And I'm going to paste in this product over here and we'll search it. And we got the report over here. We could add multiple products as well, you know, multiple competitors in terms of different options of ring lights, right? We could literally just find as many as we want, plug them into Shulix over here. And it's going to create this report inside of just, you know, your uh, report section, just similar to these other demo reports and similar to that laptop backpack example. In this case, we're going to be examining one ASIN and I'm going to show you all about kind of the details. Inside of here, there's, uh, let's see, 969 reviews. This one has a lot more, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and add this one as well. And we'll have both of these running and we'll see kind of how the information breaks down so we can gain some true insight into these products. Now we're looking at this ring light page individually for this specific product that I added. And it's pulled over 258 reviews into here. We'll be able to jump into them, sort them, go over in terms of five star, you know, ones that have images, search keywords. But I wanna show you the customer insights first. So let's see how powerful this is in terms of who's buying it. So we have over here, a sister, brother, daughter, friend, right? I think of course these could be any age people, but typically they may be on the younger side of things showing in terms of daily use. And you see, as you hover over this, these are the mentions in terms of reviews and their review level. So when people talk about daily use, but there's a big red bar here, that's probably talking about how it was not very good for daily use. So again, you can see that this is obviously something important to people. Only one out of the three reviews here were positive about using it every single day. Same thing over here is split one and one. Over here, talking about where it's being used, you know, these are all predominantly typically positive, but here you see what are they used for? So again, 50-50 split on positive and negative reviews for things like Zoom call or long Zoom meeting, right? Got a little bit better rating there. So not just about finding products that are good, but understanding what is working inside them. See the customer sentiment. A lot of people talking about the light, both positively and negatively, obviously. Seeing a lot of people talk about how it's easy to use or it didn't work or how it broke quickly. So when you're building a product, sourcing a product, you wanna make sure you take these into consideration. When you're doing your marketing as well, you'll see exactly kind of the features that you wanna call attention to, colors, settings, but definitely the best thing about in terms of the light being easy to use and adjustable, right? They're, they're really telling you your marketing points right inside of this tool in front of you. 
Buyer's motivation, again, typically we're seeing this product description over here as opposed to um, recommended by friends. You see a couple of keywords in terms of important notes that people are associating with this in terms of having a tripod stand being good, right? Versatile, light. And as we come down here in terms of expectations, we see kind of the same thing, lasting a long time, right? Adjustments, uh, functions, more than two weeks, right? We'd hope so, long lasting. And then you could actually re read some of the reviews individually about some of these kind of topics. And of course you could view all reviews at any time. Same thing we could do right up here, taking a look. And if we wanna only see five star reviews or if we only wanna see one star reviews, come down over here see different topics as well that we'll be able to click into and get kind of further information so we can kind of deep dive into any of these subjects inside of the review. You see also obviously important over here that they actually did purchase the product, so we're taking their reviews into consideration. You can see if we have any reviews with images on here, we got a couple, so we'll be able to see those images as well. So pretty clear and straightforward in terms of how this is gonna work. You add your products, you get the reports, you read the reviews, and then you really decipher all this information, you know, the who, what, where, when, the sentiment, the motivation, and then this allows you to really understand everything there is to know about these products. So there you go, that was Shulix and the AI behind it. Incredibly powerful, also very easy to use, and you can see just how quickly this can be implemented into your product research strategies here and really take it to the next level. So again, highly recommended. You can sign up for free. Again, you see the link directly below this video. Make sure you jump in this take your product research to the next level with AI. I highly recommend it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope this helps you scale your business and I'll talk to you real soon.